Hello fellow beekeepers, I'm Luther with Revolutionary Hives. This video is about the Bee Buffet feeder. It will cover the features, the components, and the function of each, the installation, and there will be video clips of it in service. The Bee Buffet is a multi-purpose feeder which serves well for both an open and hive top feeding. It's a siphon feeder, similar to a chicken waterer, but it's designed for feeding honeybees. It comes with all accessories needed except the jar and syrup. This is the Bee Buffet base. It has a bee access slot. It fits right over a standard inch and a, qu inch and a quarter by a three and a half hole in an inner cover. This is the feeding area. This is the uh, syrup trough. It has a lot of area that qu quite a few bees can gather on to take in syrup. They're in close proximity to the brood nest so they don't have far to go. This is the jar rest. This is where the jar sits to in the feeding process. This is the transfer slide. It allows the syrup to go from the jar to the uh, trough. And it also allows the air bubble to go back in the uh, jar as the syrup comes out. And the neat thing about this is it doesn't suck bees back into the jar like a regular chicken water would. It's set up for largemouth jar. It comes with a jar band and a, a lid with a hole. This is how it's positioned in use. It also comes with an adapter, so you could use a small mouth jar. The adapter just fits right in there. It comes with a small mouth jar band and a lid with a hole. And, and this way you could just use a small mouth jar if that's what you would rather do. It also comes with a patty cup. This patty cup, you can put pollen substitute if you make your own or either a pollen patty if, if that's what you use. And it just fits right into the uh, Bee access opening here is very convenient for the bees to get. And here again, it's close to the brood nest, so they just come right up and, and you know take it back down. It's a short trip for the bees. And this is the lid which contains the bees in this compartment and the feeding compartment, and, and your jar is accessible without disrupting the bees. When you refill a jar or either you put a full jar on, you can either just do it quickly which works extremely well with a little practice, or either you can just put your finger over the hole and get it almost there and put it in it, and that works well also. So whatever works for you, but at the same time, a little practice in, in this uh, quick motion, you don't have to even get any syrup on your finger or anything like that. In the open feeding setup, basically all you need is the Bee Buffet base and whichever jar you want to use, but it's, it's a simple process. And here again, the syrup is easily monitored either way you do it, whether it's open or half top feeding. And with open feeding, with the bees are so involved, it's better to wait till they pretty much empty the jar and thin out before you try to refill it because they are very involved in, in, in the feeding process. So. I'd like to take a second and say a big thank you to Dan Newman, who is a professional designer and whose help was instrumental in this feeder's success. It was a great experience working with him on the development of this feeder. I'm Luther with Revolutionary Hives, where we always strive for a hive that thrives. Please leave comments and questions below. Thank you for watching.